Men, wake up. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm here with two, here. two red-blooded Americans. Brent Menke is here, the uh, new executive chef at the, it's the, and Michael Kittridge, of course, from Kringle Candle. It's nice to have you. Great to we, be here. My friend, uh, my friend, well, you are my friend, Peter, Peter McHugh. We took a ride up there unbeknownst to you. I said, well, I just want to go up to Kringle Candle. Actually, they sent us to Deerfield Academy mm -hmm. and, um, and Deerfield Mass. And, I, and, and Peter said, we're right by Kringle Candle. I said, let's go. I said, I've never <laughs> seen this place. So Christmas Village, Biz it's just over the top. It's just really unbelievable. And we went and we got a, a nice uh, view of uh, some of the most beautiful, wonderful places. But of course included it is in that is the farm table, which, look, there I am. See? I was really there. <laughs> I'm going into the Kringle Christmas barn. This place is over the top. I mean, if you're looking for an ornament or if you're looking for a Christmas tree or special decorations for your home, from uh, elves to uh, candles, of course the candles are included there. And then we went over to the restaurant, which was just, we didn't eat, but I didn't even need to eat. I was filled with inspiration just by walking into the place. <laughs> All right, I'm done talking. Brent, <clears throat> tell me a little bit about, Michael, tell me about your inspiration behind this whole thing. You're creating a campus. Yes, we are. We, we truly wanted to create a New England destination for shoppers. So uh, not only do we have Kringle Candle now in the, the Christmas shop and the toy store and our chocolate cottage, but now we have the farm table restaurant, which where really allows... Where was the chocolate cottage? <laughs> did, we, did we miss the chocolate cottage? <laughs> it was behind? I didn't see the chocolate cottage. It's, uh, it's brand new. It's only a few weeks old, but it's been uh, very well received, and it's, it's really exciting to have chocolates from 13 nations across, across the world. Oh, that so. is wonderful. And Brent, we walked in in the middle of the day. It was kind of in between lunch and I don't know if are, are you doing we are doing lunch and dinner that's lunch correct. and dinners and it was kind of the in-between shift and the place was still packed they had to close like one of the rooms because it was so busy and then they had to put seating over here it was just it, look at how beautiful this place is and and the decorations Mike you, who, who, I understand that the wood was brought in from a former barn or something like that yes we we used a lot of the reclaimed wood from the existing structures in the in the build um, Brent was integral in the uh, the design process and the finishing work he can tell look you a little bit bar. about the bar spectacular and that coffee maker there's only one eight in the world actually, is that right? no there's actually in the United States that's one of four in the United States itself oh my gosh that's incredible so you're gonna get a good cup of coffee you absolutely can get an awesome <laughs> cup of coffee it's the menu it's very it's it's comforting it's nice to me I understood it you know and they have gluten-free options too which I think is fantastic and that's what we're trying to do I mean really we're ingredient driven we want to let those ingredients sing it's it's local it's organic as much as we can be I mean obviously citrus you know teas and uh, and coffees or whatnot, but we do have everything spot roasted for us here locally by um, Esalon Coffee. We use uh, try to only use local farmers wherever we can and oh, keep it as organic as possible. And it's wonderful. Now, for those of you who might not be familiar with Kringle Candle, it certainly is worth the trip. It's about an hour and a half from here, not too yeah. bad. Yeah. But your difference is all of your candles are white. That's correct. And which all is huge. That. Which is, yeah. and it's part of our gift basket. Yeah. So the winner this week is going to walk off. But again, tell us about the candle well, philosophy. Well, all of the candles are white regardless of the fragrance, and that's for many reasons. They're they're decor neutral, but also because they throw more light. Traditional colored candles, the dye actually blocks the light from glowing in the candle. And we said, why would you want a candle? Why wouldn't you just buy a room spray if you wanted fragrance? Right. We said you wanted the ambiance. So we said, why not maximize the ambiance? But this year, some people have said, well, geez, you know, I like to decorate. So we've actually come up with some brand new decorated glass. So they're oh. all still white candles inside. That's we were a little Sprayed candle. <laughs> Uh, sprayed glass, colored glass, so now it's going to glow and then glow out the color, whereas a traditional green candle wouldn't hardly glow at all. And part of the aroma process, you guys actually capture all of the aromas in, in, instead of letting it escape, where I know other candle companies, that happens. Is that well, right? Well, we use the maximum amount of fragrance oil possible, um, it, and we use the highest quality we They're possibly awesome. can. Did you smell this? I, I have smelled all of them. He makes them. I makes them. I make them. them. Yeah. you got to smell this stuff. It's unbelievable. Kringle yeah. Candle, thank you guys so much. We wish hey, you the best of luck. Thank you so much for having us. I want to visit uh, without a camera crew. I just want to go up there, and relax, and have a nice meal. I was going to say, come in for dinner. We will. We'll love to have you. All right, we're going to be back to tell you about a great holiday event coming up next on Better Connecticut. Thank you, guys. Thank we'll you. See you back Thank in you. two minutes. Take care.